Well, look at this, kids. It's the day after our big bike ride. And it's come. <laughs> Now's the time for raining of 44 days and 44 nights. So we got done. Good thing we went yesterday and got some bike time in before the rain comes. Monsoon season is going to be here. Still want to go camping. Would like to get another camping trip in. And uh, a trip to Port Alberni maybe. Go visit Mommy back to Vancouver Island. So as a part of my experimental with peppers and pepper seed growing, what I'm going to do here is, or what I did do, sorry, excuse my French or Canadian, hey that's it, S excuse my Canadian, but I'm going to take, what I did was soak overnight, 24 hours, two different pepper seeds in tea. They say this helps things grow, so I got the wet. I put it down as wet and then I put long hot orange red peppers and this is a yellow hot wet pepper tea mix so I'm gonna mark that and I should have put one more control experiment and that is the baggy method and one maybe just a dry method actually no we're gonna do two dry one of each dry the hot long and one wet with tea and then I'll do a third doing the baggy method and another time I'll show you with the baggy. Now, so uh, here I'm just gonna take one seed or attempt to take one seed. Now maybe I need a different knife. Ah yeah, this one's not working. I can't get it. She. So yeah, so that's all I'm gonna do. Oh you know what? I'm gonna moisten blah blah blah. You can speak, I know you can do it there, Chuck. I should moisten this a little bit. That might take a few minutes to soak in. Yeah, we're gonna do this one, both sides. Even the, oh, I got one seed in already. We gotta take that guy out, shit. He doesn't belong there. And then once, 14 days from now, when they start sprouting, if they start sprouting, I can just pull the dirt out and plant it in a container like this, let that one grow for a while, then replant it in a bigger pot. It's a pepper, so maybe about this size, or maybe something like that. This guy grew really well there, so I could possibly put a couple pepper plants in that guy there. Because what I had in there was beans, it didn't go well. I do got two onions in there, and they're pretty small, but yeah. And then I know I'm soaking fairly good because the bottom is wet. So we gotta keep this damp for a couple weeks and hopefully they will germinate again. Experiment, we'll see what happens. So this is how it ended up working out. I got my dry and my wet. Well, I won't say dry, I'll say fridge stored. The next ones I'm gonna, next batch is gonna be dry. So now we're just gonna take a little bit of this dirt. Throw it on top like that, voila. Press it down a little bit, and that's it. We'll wet it some more once I get all of them in. So there we go, covered with dirt. And you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna do this a little bit more. And I'm actually gonna keep this water. Maybe use this water for the first week. Uh, I don't want pepper seeds, because I don't want to change things up so yeah I'll use this pepper water maybe for a few days and then after a week or something I'll change it actually I should dump it in here and see if that gives nutrients so we're not going to fertilize this the mere reason being yeah it's too young to fertilize one week later oh yeah look at look at this look at this unbelievable magic has happened no not the flower so Previously, last week, actually maybe two weeks now, I showed you I was planting those seeds. Look at what happened. I grew this from a freaking pepper. It's working, it's working. Um, 
the long hot is working that's what is working the long hot peppers orange red the colored one so that is working the uh, yellow hot banana style is not working so one pepper seems to be doing okay. I didn't grow any other ones. I have to give them a shot right away. But uh, they are in a position where I can transplant them into a bigger pot. And then from that second pot, I'm going to take them and transfer them into their final resting spot. But look at that. I can't believe I did that. Jalapeno peppers. I did it myself. Oh, that is a victory. Uh, green thumb, pink thumb, purple thumb. Shit, this is exciting for me. Sorry, uh, I know I'm a geek, but uh, hey, thanks for coming along with and sharing this little part. And I get to video it and keep it in 20 years from now when I'm old in a retirement hall, home. Or maybe I won't be alive. <laughs> Corona might catch me. Um, I can watch this back. Sorry, I'm jacked up on coffee maybe, or just excited that something's actually working very cool. So there you go, kids. We successfully took a market yellow hot pepper and a sweet pepper and took the seeds out and created seedlings. Unbelievable. I'm quite surprised and shocked. Uh, this is a bit of an experiment because I want to grow more hot peppers this coming year. So looking forward to, yeah, trying different things out. Uh, what else do we got? Well, you know, if the weather cooperates and warms up, we'd like to get out this weekend, get some dancing and touring around. Uh, while the weather's still somewhat decent and it's not snowing here in the fall time and I'm hoping to get some dance in before they cut the dance events off because the woohoo flu or plague or virus whatever you want to call it it's increasing and I'm sure they're gonna cut down events again so yeah that's just the way it is as frustrated as we get you know what yeah well let's not go there today so my friends you know what thanks for checking us out experimenting and playing a bit today we'll catch you next time and until next time look after yourself and look after each other and cheers until next time stay awesome Woo!